Here we are with My Hero Academia Season 5 Episode 7. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. I hate these recaps. Why? Man, our viewer must be super dumb. So we have to remind them every episode what happened before. <laughs> We know it's just a week, but we can't avoid it. Otherwise, they can't follow this complex, crazy plot we have going here right now. <clears throat> Especially something that I just rem uh, remembered. Like last season, which I just watched a few uh, days ago, when... Gentleman dropped a, a steel beam on Deku. <clears throat> Deku couldn't really move with it while he was holding it. I would imagine that the cannon that Yozuru made has probably a similar weight. And you want to tell me that and Deku is really strong because he has one fall, right? Even if it's just 20%. He is super strong. He's probably stronger than... Uh, what's the name? Uh, I forgot the name. The girl with the big arms. <clears throat> He's probably stronger than her, I would imagine. And he could move with a steel beam. And you want to tell me... That when Yozuru is tied to her... And has a cannon at, on her... That she can move with that? Hmm? No way! That's bullshit, especially for the distance she had to walk to get where the others were. <clears throat> that wasn't 10 meters. That was like, I don't know, 50, probably more than 50 meters. Dark Shadow was flying for quite some time. That's probably like a few hundred meters away. And she walked that whole path with Yozuru on her side and a cannon. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah, of course she did that. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. Burn her. Where's Shoto? <clears throat> oh yeah, Kendo is the name, right? Cameraman, where are you watching? <clears throat> I wouldn't say complete. It was bullshit. For the most part. I mean, it's not that I'm like a class A fanboy. I don't care if B or A wins. It just, logically, it's stupid. There's not a single one here where I would be like, I want him to win. He has to win. I'm like, whatever. <clears throat> it just didn't make sense. That ass. Man, this season really wants the ass shots. Left and right. Stalker girl. 
I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> so that I can beat your ass at full strength. <laughs> Andy bots moving the cage. All right, <clears throat> no one interesting from class B that I'm interested in. I want to see the girl in the purple suit from Class B. Does he have a stem on his grape on his head? Nani? What the fuck are you talking about, Bert? A move that only Shoto can do? Prominence Burn Version 2. So fun. Did we add the intro? Mm-hmm. 
recovers nicely. Still the same as when he got injured. Or is this from back then? Well, I guess this is from back then, right? <clears throat> oh no, we had the intro at the beginning, okay. Already completely slipped my mind. Yeah. No brain cells. Hmm, where could they be? <coughs> and here goes the int introduction again. We know that already for seasons. We don't know the other ones. You can't tell me about the other ones. I think we don't know them, right? Yeah, he looks like uh, the one guy from us, right? With the seraphone tape. We had her before, right? But did they told us about her spell, uh, her quirk spell? <laughs> What the fuck? Roll a man. Is this his quirk? Wheels? <laughs> oh. Hostages, obviously. Nope. <laughs> oh, there was a little block guy. Looks like the block guy from the school. Doesn't small. That must hurt. Getting like burned like that. <laughs> I 
I mean, what he did back then was pretty messed up. It isn't going away just like that. Just heat up a bit, and you're fine. I wonder he's steel, right? What would happen if Toto would uh, if Shoto would use some fire? Would he melt? <laughs> All at once, okay. What is this? Oh. Softening. What's the suit for? <laughs> What would happen if you would touch fire? <laughs> Does the fire go soft? That's a pretty interesting ability. Softening stuff. But definitely not something the girls would want, right? <laughs> oh, that was a bad one. <clears throat> and he can... Sp He's a drill? Sky Raid. Drill a man. I mean, why not, right? So how could they, how can they get out of this? <clears throat> if Todoroki makes ice, it can just be softened. Oni. <laughs> the way she talks because she's from England, from I think from America, right? America, America, America. That's interesting. Heat him up. <clears throat> Probably not.
Dude, she can grow horns and just shoot her horns. It's like shark teeth. He's chill. Nani? Oh! <laughs> he bursts his way out. I wonder if he could fly, if he would use his respiratory respir burst, like, really strong, if he could, like, glide with it or some shit. I mean, it looks like he's doing that right now. <laughs> he's not really running, it looks like. <laughs> oh my god what the fuck Wait, he has fuel? How does that work? If those are like his new... I said in the... Afterwards. Let's see what's your preview. It looks like a preview. Preview! Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, like I said... If those are his new exhausts, they're basically like in him, right? They're like a part of his body. Because like you saw when he ripped out his previous ones, um, he was bleeding. So it's like in his body, obviously. <clears throat> and the new ones look way bigger, right? They're not just like some pipes. They're like, I mean, they're still pipes, but like longer pipes and bigger pipes. Um, that must, that must suck to sleep, right? And he said fuel consumption? Is it like meant literally fuel? That he has like some kind of fuel? I think we never really talked about that stuff, right, before? I mean, it's been so many years since Boku no Hero came out, or My Hero Academia came out, that I don't remember all the details. I mean, I know that he has like his engine shit, but I don't know what they talked about like in detail about it um or is fuel just meant as like um his stamina <clears throat> so that he can with the new exhaust he can use it for like a longer duration because it doesn't take so much of his like energy or stamina or whatever or is he meaning like literally some fuel and then i'm wondering is he meaning like actual fuel like gas or some shit or is he is it just something else Maybe some sweet tea. Um, but yeah, um, new quirks, right? Um, the one guy that can soften everything. And when he touches it again, he can harden it again. Very handy because he can soft like, like he did with Ida. He can just soften the ground, you sink in, and then he makes it hard again. And bam, you're trapped. Um, if you have nothing to get you out of the situation, you are trapped obviously and like we could saw or could see it can throw off a whole team if suddenly the whole plan and all the movement is completely screwed over because you can't stand on certain grounds that are touched by him because you just sink in that's very bad <clears throat> because most People are like on the ground, right? Most have like abilities that work on the ground. They can't fly or or stuff. So, I mean, if you see, for example, hawks, he would have no problem, right? He could he could just fly and use some feathers. Unless enemies are too strong and some feathers wouldn't cut it, and he would have to use more feathers. But then he would fly 
then he couldn't fly anymore. But I mean, if you would think, he could still control his feathers, and he could control all of, all of his feathers, so he would still be somewhat fine, I guess. But yeah, Fox is like overall pretty OP, I would say, with his ability. But yeah, like, he would be an example where example where that wouldn't be a big issue for him having someone that softens the ground but like like i said most people are on the ground and i mean even todoroki he couldn't do he can't really use his eyes because it can just get softened but what i'm wondering about is what if you hit him like straight up with the eyes right you shoot the eyes <clears throat> or let's say it like this let's say todoroki could shoot an ice missile right and obviously it would touch him right but if he if it touches him can he make it so that he already activated his his quirk and as soon as it touches him it already began becomes soft so that it wouldn't hurt him or would it hurt an impact and then it would get soft and like i said what would happen with flames if Todoroki would shoot some flames could he touch the flames and the flames would just get soft or would the flames actually hurt him and when it gets soft, does it still have the same element like ice being cold and fire being hot? If it, if both would get soft? Like what are the limitations? <clears throat> because fire is not necessarily something that has... Um, what's the word? Oh my god. Um, the texture, right? For lack of better words. Like ice you can touch, but fire you can't really touch it, right? So, can he make it soft? It said he could make stuff soft, except humans or living beings. Fire is not living, I would say. So, but it's also nothing you can touch really. So that's something that I think is interesting. And yeah, then we have the horn girl, very horny, which is super interesting that she can. She can just regrow her horns like a shark can regrow his teeth, which is kind of crazy. And then she can just shoot him. I wonder, can she just shoot him? I mean, they can hover. She can like um, remove them from her head, and then they just hover. So I guess she can control them. Can she control them like how they fly, how they move in midair, or can they? Can she just like remove them from her head and then hover them? And then shoot them, and then they just fly straight. I don't know. <clears throat> and then, yeah, the last guy, Drill Boy. Interesting that he can fly or hover from the drilling on his feet. But it also seems like, I mean, you would imagine that it should hurt if you are drilling someone, right? But like, Tail Guy, I, I don't know his name. Because he's pretty ir irrelevant. We barely see him in action or talk or whatever. Um, he drills him the whole time and he didn't seem affected really. So, what's the point of the drilling if you can't really hurt someone with it? It seems like. Or is he blocking with his tail? I didn't pay attention. Because his tail is like more durable, right? Um, but yeah, definitely the lamest ability i would say being a drill basically i think the softening is way more interesting or the horn part but yeah, i mean that was basically the episode and i guess next episode we will conclude oh yeah and endeavor wants to teach soto the ultimate move that he can only that only he can use because he can use ice to, to cool himself down because endeavor always talks about that he has to watch out to not overheat basically So yeah, we will see. <clears throat> I guess it was an episode basically. I guess there's nothing more to say. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. Oh no, episode 8. We do two episodes. So yeah, let's get to the next episode. <laughs> Can't wait for the flashback.
he very much looks like the tape guy, right? Like the haircut is the same, the outfit is the same. Intro. Oh boy. <clears throat> I really, I start to think about if I really want to watch season six of My Hero Academia because so far I'm not really grabbed. <laughs> On this season, I'm not really hooked, so I I maybe watch it till the end, right? And if I don't enjoy it by the end, I'm hooked and I'm like, okay, let's watch season six. Then maybe I just don't watch season six <clears throat> because I'm not as hyped for My Hero Academia as it was at the beginning. At the beginning, I really liked it, the whole idea behind it with hero and everything. Um, but over the years and all these seasons, it's just like not as interesting anymore and i don't know i feel like it it just fell off <clears throat> and from what i've heard later it just gets way worse <laughs> like way worse we are not at the point where many people say the show falls like down all the way <laughs> not all the way but like quite a bit <clears throat> like from what i've heard later there are some parts that are like Ooh, not that good apparently and we are far from it still I guess I don't know <clears throat> and like I said I'm already not as hyped for it anymore and at some point it gets worse maybe what the f <laughs> okay he goes fast <laughs> That's kind of badass. <clears throat> how long? How long can he keep it up? Makes everything. Ooh. He can just swim through it. Can he also go inside and just follow him underneath it with his burst? Maybe not. Oh, he turned it back? That's interesting. So he turned it back to ice and swims underneath it? In the softened version of it? That's very specific, I would say. So he can only make parts of it soft, it seems like. <laughs> oh what i i couldn't quite read it <clears throat> so the support item is what fucks him up <laughs>
Well, got one. <clears throat> I would say heat him up. He's steel. Shouldn't that hurt when it gets super hot? <laughs> oh, okay. That means if you just go beyond what he can what he can take and heat, right, then that fucks him up. There's only so much he can take. Yeah, now he feels the heat. Let's go beyond what he can take. <laughs> Talk to soon. I mean, you could use this ice pot to cool down. That's the whole point why you why you got it. Ooh. She's skating on her horns. She's skating on her horns. Or she like gliding on them. She's gliding on them. Okay, I guess she can't control them, right? Let's get grabby. <clears throat> Horny and grabby. Hmm. 
on the back. Ooh. And it gets soft again. <clears throat> That's very interesting. Wow. Hail tornado. That's interesting that it can make like the surface solid again somewhat. And then underneath it's completely soft, like like liquid. But it means the door is broken, so he can just walk out. That's a that's a dumb rule. I mean, the door is broken. How can it keep someone in prison if the door is gone? In order to be in prison, the door should be intact. What the fuck? Fire punch? Mm hmm. <clears throat> and this liquid guy is annoying. Is this how you how they lose? Oh, there he comes, Ida. I completely forgot about Ida. <laughs> Just drop him off somewhere where no one is around and then grab the other two and bring him to your cell. Dude, he should be way further away. Come on. Win logic, please. <laughs> he took so long and had to crawl over to that tank shit, whatever. They want to tell me that he either couldn't get away in time when he's so fast. Mm hmm. Yeah, makes sense.
But the horn girl is still around, right? <clears throat> oh yeah, he's also still around. Pretty much. What a dumb match. <laughs> uh. Again, some complete something completely illogical. Either should have been like far away in time. Because the softened guy took so long. Oh, this idiot. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's go. I want to see her.
Okay, I'm interested. Is he nuking them? <laughs> What's he gonna do? Let me guess, there's only... Preview. <clears throat> yep. Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But, yeah. I mean... The upgrade for Ida is pretty crazy right I, I think he's definitely faster than Deku right now right he's because I think um, Gran Torino is faster than Deku and Deku said Ida is faster than Gran Torino right now I mean you could maybe just say it and I mean we don't have the definite proof right but he's very fast and that's the stupid part stupid part because he's so super fast and <clears throat> He was already like running and running and running with Toto, uh, with Shoto, and the other guy was lying on the ground, was thinking, well, either was running, was thinking and thinking, and then he decided, okay, I have to do something. And then he slowly crawls over to this big ass tank while Ida was running and running and running with his super speed. And then he softened it and it's like he had Tetsu Tetsu, hit it please, and then Tetsu Tetsu has to to go over there, can barely walk, which also takes time, while Ida is running and running and running with his super speed. And then you want to tell me that this thing falls over and hits him? <laughs> Why? <laughs> It's so dumb. This is like the definition of anime minutes and seconds. Where it's like, it makes like zero sense. He's running for like, I don't know, a minute already or so. While the others are talking and crawling. <clears throat> and then he can't outrun this thing. While he's running so long and so far. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's just dumb. <laughs> it's just dumb. There is like no logical explanation for it. I mean, I get it. The thing is big, right? But I mean, Ida was running for so long with his super fast speed. That he's like a flash coming by. <clears throat> I w he could probably outrun this thing. I mean, how high could it be? Like, 100 meters? 100 meters would already be very big. And with his speed, he was running for like at least 30 seconds. With his, a normal human being can run like 100 meters in what? 10, 15 seconds? Let's say 10 to 15 seconds or whatever. Um, with either speed, he is so much faster he could run that in like with his speed full power he could run 100 meters in like probably two seconds three seconds i would guess the, as fast as he goes <clears throat> i mean he, he could probably uh, probably un outrun a car at this point and some cars can get in 0 to 100 in like a few seconds. And if Ida can outrun them and is already running for 30 seconds, he should easily outrun the, this thing. And I don't think that it will be bigger than 100 meter. No way in hell is that tank bigger than 100 meter. No way. So it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. It's I know I talk about this a lot right now, it's, and I just keep repeating myself, but it's just so dumb. I just want to explain how dumb it is. Oh my god. <clears throat> and even if it was 200 meter or 300 meter, the time 
he kept running at his speed, he could have outrun 300 meter too. The doubt that it is 300 meters big, that would be gigantic. Just standing there. <clears throat> because this is the thing, this thing is nowhere near 100 meters big because it was because you see like the whole surface of this area right everything is like roughly around the same height right and the tank is just a bit higher right and the horn girl was floating above the tank shit which is like relatively even and that was like maybe 10 meters 50 meters maybe from what it looks like let's say maybe, maybe 20 meters so the tank is a bit bigger so maybe let's say tops 50 meters i would say from what it looks like so yeah it makes like absolutely no sense zero sense zero sense that yeah it's just dumb so and i'm done with talking about it but yeah, I mean, otherwise, Horn Girl looks like she can control it because she can stand on it and just hover around on it and fly around on it, which is kind of crazy, I would say. It's kind of similar, I would say it's kind of similar to Hawk's horns, uh, Hawk's uh, feathers, right? Just that Hawk has way more because it seems like she can only control so many. I think she said she can only control four because she had two at her feet to fly and one for tetsu and one for uh soften guy and then shoto she carried on in her arms so i think she can only control four at a time <clears throat> which i think makes no sense did she say that let me check did she say something like that that you can only control four or some shit? where is it Here is it? Uh, here it is. I can't let Shoji pick them up and put them in jail. But what should I do? I couldn't beat Shoji even with all my horns free. I mean, she she fired like tons of horns. Okay, maybe maybe the, maybe the thing how it works is she can shoot many horns. There must be a limit to it. Because she said, with all my horns, free. But I think she can maybe only control four of them. Because earlier we saw, we, we saw that she fired like tons of them. And Choji just punched them all away, right? So, I guess she can maybe fire a lot of them. But she maybe can only control four. If I can't attack with all four of them, uh, I'm even more likely to lose. But I mean, let me check the where where was it when she fired that shit? Was it here somewhere? Here. Uh, here. If she fires four, and he blows them away, and then she fires just rapidly, tons of them. <clears throat> so it's it's a bit confusing. She says four. But then she can fire tons of them, so maybe she, like I said, maybe she just can control four of them at a time. That she actually can move freely around how she wants it, but she can fire maybe more, and they, the other ones, just fly straight maybe. Um, otherwise, if that's not how it works, then it's a bit confusing why she can't shoot it in one scene, dozens of them, constantly, and then she, later she's like, oh no, I can only control four, if that's not how it works, I don't know. Um, and yeah, soften guy. Very interesting that he can like make the. So how does it work? Can he make the? Can he make the surface? So he can make stuff soft, and then he can make the surface solid again. But only the surface and the underneath is soft still, and then he can swim through it. Or can he just swim through solid stuff? That for others it's solid, but he can just swim through it. Because then it's not just softening, I would say. If he can 
swim through solid stuff so it must be that he can like make certain parts only hard and other parts he can still keep soft so in this case he makes the surface hard and other everything underneath the surface is hard uh, is soft maybe interesting kind of weird and yeah next episode we see the girl in purple which got a recommendation and that's why she's in the school and she can be pretty nasty i'm interested want to see what she can do i like her design so that will be hype i guess but yeah, i guess that's it for the episode like i said again <clears throat> match two dumb conclusion makes no sense match three dumb conclusion makes no sense um we will see how four will end if it's a decent conclusion or another dumb conclusion <laughs> Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I guess that's the episode. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching until next time. Bye-bye.